Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Now today we've come up onto sort of Birchover, up Stanton Hill, um, sorry Stanton Moor. Um, quite still conditions but the light's absolutely horrible so I'm just going to head into the woods, still confined in there where the light really isn't going to make too much of a difference, possibly do a bit of macro. But what I have a bit of a chat about today is the mental health benefits that you find actually getting out with your camera. Um, it's something that I've found certainly over the last couple of years probably since all, all the sort of the pandemic kicked in and stuff like that. Um, the bit to actually get out there and just be one with nature is really, really nice. And essentially, it, it does lift your mood quite well. Uh, it's something that you wouldn't really sort of associate too much with that side of it, but it works really, really nicely. A um, couple of times we've been out and it, you do get that real sort of sense of sort of wow factor and euphoria when you find somewhere new or somewhere that's sort of just really sort of nice to photograph and nice to be around um it's something that you don't really sort of consider it until you actually get out there So I spotted these trees behind me. Um, I don't know whether I'll be able to make it work, but essentially we've got a couple of silver birch and one tree that's just sort of leaning away towards the rhododendron bush there. I'm hoping to actually sort of do a bit of a, uh, a sort of 16 mm iron crop on it, get rid of some of the sky. Um, hopefully that'll sort of give me something that's quite interesting. Run it F8, give me a better sort of ISO 640. So yeah, hopefully it'll work. I'll pop it up now for you. So wandering around woodland, it's, a, it's the sort of thing that I really enjoy doing. Uh, it's probably why I, sort of, I tend to sort of focus more on the woodland side of photography. Um, but just some way you can sort of get into it, especially when you've got a nice dense patch. You can just get in there and just get lost in the trees. Um, you say to lose all track of time. You can enjoy sort of the sounds at the moment. There's a lovely sort of song thrush calling over there at the moment. Just the sounds of the birds being in with the nature. It's a very, very calm feel and like I say, it's something that especially if you have a sort of a stressful week or something like that get out of there at the weekend and just basically forget about everything get out there take a few shots it doesn't even matter if they're just snaps really you don't have to be sort of getting portfolio shots every time you go out um, get out there enjoy the time with your camera and one thing I do tend to find as well if you're actually sort of just taking the sort of pot shot more than likely you're going to get a nice shot when you're out and about. It doesn't matter if you take 400 shots, if you've got three that come out really nice, you've enjoyed the experience, that's what it's all about. Yes, yeah, so even if you've been to a section of woodland before, each time you go, it's always gonna be slightly different. The change in the seasons, different weather conditions. So you're going to get slightly different sort of results each time you go. Um, which is why it's ideal to actually get out there in different sort of times of the year. Even if you've been there before, you'll see something new. I mean, today we're seeing different things because the first time I've actually been up here sort of in February, uh, last time we were here was in October. So we sort of get sort of full sort of autumn effect with the leaf fall, etc. Now it's all very, I wouldn't say really bleak, but it, it's very green. Um, lots of moss, I mean, sort of back there, all the rocks all covered in moss, it's really quite nice. Um, so yeah, so I think the macro is going to be coming out. And what I'm doing with the macro today, um, I'm keeping the 12 100 on the OM1, which I'll do some macro with, but I've actually got the EM1 Mark 1 with me 30mm uh, macro on. Um, main reason being, it's a stupidly light camera, and it's hard to just like get deep in, just take the odd snap. Results aren't quite as good as the uh, there are monks of the year, we've got a 16 megapixel sensor, it's not got the same sort of dynamic range, etc. But I've got lights with me and stuff like that, so we can have a bit of a play. Uh, but yeah, just spotted a bit of a copse behind. I mean, just spinning around where we are. There's a nice little sort of tree just over here, I can get behind working. Um, from this angle, it doesn't look much. But if I get down here, try and do it without falling down a bloody great big hole. Move around to a different angle. 
Look how different that looks now. So yeah, I might have to pick something up. A few sort of rocks around. I might have to get a composition together with it. about the idea of being out there with a the camera unless you're a professional you're doing it for money everything you do is about getting the right shot for the right clients and stuff like that it should be about fun and enjoying it um, I mean I do the YouTube videos once a week at the minute sometimes it can be a little bit of a hassle putting stuff together which is why occasionally you just get bits and bobs coming through um, depending on how busy things are in the next few weeks etc you might just get a couple of slideshows put up but the idea is it's about having fun, not about being stressed that you've got to get this, that and the other done. It's the same with the photography. I go out because I really enjoy it and it gives you that sense of sort of being in nature, which is a real sort of calming effect. It's really, really nice to do. Um, when we sort of get to places like this, I mean, this is probably about the third or fourth time we've been up to this section of the woods now. Um, it's just nice to be able to sort of get in places. You're seeing different things. I mean, some of the moss, on these rocks, absolutely fantastic. Um, definitely gonna be breaking out the macro soon, I think. We're heading down to a bit where it's almost like sort of a dead end, because this is all old quarry land and stuff like that that's basically return to nature. Um, there's a couple of sections down here where the shapes in the trees and the rocks and that really work well to get sort of mosses and things like that. So there'll be some great macros being taken down there. So go head down there now, see what we can get out of it. So there's a quick example of the mosses that are around here. If I can zoom in for you there. Absolutely fantastic shapes, forms, colours. And interspersed with that you've got all these leaves in that as well. You can make a really nice scene out of it. Uh, I'm going to rattle off a shot now. Um, probably going to be something similar to if I can get in the right sort of position. That sort of effect I think. So it's looking across, it almost looks like you're looking across a forest from above. Um, yeah, I'll drop the shot up now for you. So it's not always a case of getting out there and sort of condition and stuff like that looks like today it's a grey dull day there's no wind for a change uh, but it's not too bad at all out um, big thing that we have seen today though is like I say a lot of moss there's an awful lot of leaves all around as well so I might be able to pick up some composition just from the leaves um, the trees are actually quite nice being bare because you actually get them standing out against some bits um, compositions aren't really throwing themselves out there but yeah some interest it's quite nice um, like I say the key to it is get out there with the camera. The thing I've always said before is like, if you're not out taking shots, you're never gonna get the shot that you want. Um, if it's a st just simple to wander around with the camera, I mean, literally I've brought today, I've got in the bag, the Mark 1 with the uh, the macro one. Now I've got my 12 to 100 on the OM one, just wandering around. Um, there's no sort of expectation that we're gonna get portfolio shots or anything like that. Just out, a bit of fun, enjoy it. Um, basically, just take your time, look at the different things. And yeah, the thing I find more than anything, especially in woodland, is you're looking for shapes that stand out to you. If you can't see any shapes, get in closer. See if you can actually see something actually in the bark or anything like that. Um, if there's any other bits around, like, like today with the rocks with the mosses on, use those. You can use them as foreground, you can actually use them as subjects. You can have a lot of fun with it, um, but that is the key. It's fun. Enjoy yourself when you're out with the camera. Um, too much these days is the emphasis on, it's got to be a fantastic image. They took a better image than me. They've got more likes than me on social media. And it's, it's a spiral that is really, really hard to break. Um, but if you can get out there and just go for you, nobody else, for you, the only person that you've got to impress is yourself 
that you've been out and you've taken the shot. Um, once you've done that, you've got essentially anything you can do. You, it doesn't matter. Like I say, I'm seeing bits and bobs of them sat around here. Um, there's just little bits and bobs around that I'm going to break the Mark 1 out because uh, there's a lovely rock just over there. Was, it almost looks like a map of, of, sort of areas of, sort of moss and stuff like that. So I'm going to try some bits with that. There's rhododendron bushes around here as well. You can play with those as patterns because if you can get a silver birch in front of a rhododendron, it gives you a nice bit of separation. Um, you know, this would be perfect in fog, but trying to land here in fog is quite difficult, it seems. I've not managed it as yet. Um, but yeah, key to it, like I say, go out, have fun. It's all about the fun, not about the likes, not about recreating images that you've seen on social media because you don't think you've got enough. You're all good enough to produce fantastic images because the only person you've got to impress is yourself. One thing I always do find when I'm out and about as well is I tend to go essentially off piste, so find bits that aren't sort of generally on a footpath or something like that, sort of, as long as you're allowed, of course. Um, get into the other bits of different trees and that that you spot. There's some lovely little scenes up here. Um, lots of silver birch. Quite messy in places, but the birds are absolutely everywhere up here. It's absolutely fantastic. I don't know if you can hear them. Absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, so from, I've sort of climbed up a couple of different plateaus, so I'm actually looking down into the woods at the minute. Uh, so quite nice compositions. Um, nothing that's really outstanding, but that's not what we're here for. We're just exploring and having fun with it. Uh, but yeah, pop one up now for you. Well, pop a couple up. Um, as far as sort of settings go, basically it's coming up F8, roughly ISO 640 on most of them, um, just because it's quite dark and shutter speed normally around sort of a 60th of a second so yeah it's not too bad um sync is working wonders on the uh 12 to 100 as per normal but yeah drop a couple up now for you have a look and uh yeah I'll keep on wondering uh, the spot that i want to get to and I'll have a bit more of a chat with you There we go. What do you think? Is it the sort of thing that you find when you're going out with the camera, especially if you're going to sort of natural places like this, does it give you that sense of sort of freedom and sort of well-being and it improves your mood? Um, do you find that? I'd say, certainly do. I mean, like I say, when you've got something like this, the little Mark 1, the macro one, you can, it weighs nothing, it's fantastic. Ideal thing for sort of getting tight in. You've got the 12 to 100 on the OM1. It's almost like a perfect setup for this sort of area. And yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. I could spend a couple of days up here, it's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, let us know in the comments. Is it something that you find really helps you out? And do you get drawn into that spiral of they've got more likes than me or I need to produce that sort of quality of picture because they're better than me? Is it some, something that you do find? Let us know in the comments. But for now, we'll sort of leave it there. But so if you liked it, please do give us a thumbs up. It helps us out no end. And we're getting so close to a thousand subs. I really want to get to a thousand subs if I can. Um, this year, so it's a bit of a milestone for me. Um, if you can subscribe, that'd be absolutely fantastic. But for now, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Take care.